Hey there, good morning everyone. Welcome on in to North Dakota Today. Right now we are getting musical. The FM Symphony is hosting an American celebration all as part of their Master Works series. Here to tell us all about it is Maestro Christopher Zimmerman. Good morning, Maestro. Good morning, nice to see you. How are you? I'm fine. Okay, I'm excited. Uh, so our, our friend from London is hosting an American celebration. Well. What's going on? <laughs> Yeah, that's true, I suppose. <laughs> uh, so this is our last concert of the season. Okay. And it's called that basically because the, there are two pieces which have um, a real significance. One is uh, Gershwin's Rhapsody in Blue. Yeah. You may have heard of that piece. It's uh -huh. the 100th anniversary of its creation. Wow. And the pianist who's playing that also commissioned, meaning he asked someone to write for him, mm -hmm. another piece to go along with it uh, by a composer, living composer called Peter Boyer. He's, a, he's an American composer. Mm -hmm. And that piece is called um, Rhapsody in Red, White and Blue. Mm -hmm. And so these pieces are mapped together with a piano solo. So that's kind of the, the two bookends of this, this concert. And we thought since it's such an American thing, we should have some other American, really iconic music to go with it. Yeah. So we're playing Copeland, Aaron Copeland, a famous American composer's uh, Appalachian Spring, which is probably his best known piece. Okay. And also to round the concert out, we're playing a piece by Bernstein, great Leonard Bernstein, mm -hmm. called On the Waterfront, which is the music written for the film On the Waterfront. You may know that film. It's called the On the Waterfront Suite, very dramatic music. So all four pieces are big American dramatic great works, hence the name American Celebration. Yeah, that's pretty exciting. Yeah, so great. this is the fifth and final. This is the fifth and final yeah, for this year. Yeah, walk that's us right. through the season. How has it been going? Uh, I don't remember what we've done. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, what year is it? They, yeah, that I do know. <laughs> no, it's been a great year, actually. I mean, we've had a, to, something which sort of warms my heart a little bit, and I hope the musicians, is that we've done a lot of new pieces, meaning yeah. pieces written, f you know, pieces for the very first time. Sure. As long a, uh, as well as, of course, the famous pieces by Tchaikovsky and the, the, yeah. the great composers. So it's been a real mixture. I think every piece has been great. Every concert has been really great. So remind us when the shows will be. So the shows are this coming weekend, mm -hmm. Saturday evening and Sunday afternoon, at the NDSU Reinecke Concert Hall. Okay. Seven thirty on Saturday, two o'clock on Sunday. Perfect. You can get tickets at fmsymphony.org. But you also do kind of a pre-concert talk where you kind of meet with true. audience members. Yeah, tell that us about that. That is absolutely true. So uh, at half an hour before, actually, no, 45 minutes before each show. Mm -hmm. So 6.45 on Saturday, one mm -hmm. fifteen on Sunday. Uh, for half an hour, I we have a little uh, sort of, I don't call it a lecture. It's really a chat to the audience from me mm -hmm. at the little room next door to the concert hall, very mm -hmm. close, just one minute walk yeah. in the same building. Um, and usually I have, for instance, this time I will have the soloist with me and we just talk very informally about, it's kind of a behind the scenes thing, yeah. which people kind of like, I think, because, you know, yeah. maybe they think we're sort of, you know, I don't know, they like to see the human side, I guess, of, <laughs> yeah. and, and what, what really does go on behind the scenes, you know, the preparation for the concerts and what's going through the soloist's head yeah. and how he leads his life as, as a soloist going to different orchestras and this and the other. Yeah, of course, the life of an artist. Yeah, life of an artist, well put. Yeah. yeah, well, okay, I would like to learn a little bit more about you, if you don't mind. Do you uh, want to kind of walk us? Well, it was only career related. Calm yeah. down, everybody. <laughs> no, but walk us through, yeah, your musical career and how you kind of got uh, here and everything. Well, as you can tell from my accent, I come from England, but yeah. I have, I'm actually half American in the sense that my mother comes from Connecticut. Okay. So as a kid, I used to come over here a lot. Uh, and but I grew up in England and I came to very briefly I came to college over here yeah. and then I went back to Europe for about seven or eight years eking a living as a well this is a long time ago actually I have to <laughs> say I was back there I went to actually Prague before the wall came wow. out oh. to understudy with the conductor of the Czech Philharmonic and then after that I went back to London and I started getting conducting work and then yeah. I got a job basically a full-time job as it were over here and I moved over here we've been here my wife and I and uh, we had two children here. We have been here for, I can't even remember how many years, I think it's 23 years, so it's a long time. Yeah, yeah. and time is flying by yeah. with each great. orchestral like season, huh? That's right. I love that. Well, you know, break a leg, good luck with Thank the show. Fifth Thanks. and final Masterwork series happening this weekend, fmsymphony.org for more information. Thank you so much, Maestro. It's a pleasure to be here. Yeah. Thanks. All Thanks. right, stick around, everybody. Plenty more coming up right here in North Dakota Today.